Dave, congratulations. This remarkable run just keeps going on and that's just because it gets away from home, isn't it? Yeah, good performance um, that showed all the characteristics required to, to be a successful team. So they changed their shape based on how they've been in the last two games and you then have a decision to make it around how you want to go about it. So coming here and knowing what they like to do in terms of dictate play, we wanted to be really aggressive, so we, we went man for man and we took a chance. And the one, the one criticism, the only criticism in the first half was that um, we made them give them the ball, in, made them give us the ball in good areas, but technically we were terrible and gave it away too, far too often um, and didn't make the most of those situations. Um, we forced them into making a, a change in terms of their shape um, and when we did provide that bit of quality we then get the, the goals that, that win us the game. We, we had to dig in there um, at the last bit um, and that's the, probably the most pleasing bit if you like and the fact that how we managed the game after we scored that second. A strange game at times because obviously crew are absolutely flying at the minute, the top scorers in the Football League. They seem very content tonight to, to let you have the ball and let you come at them if you like. Did that surprise you at all? I, I'm not. I'm not sure they they, they were content us letting us have the have the ball. I, I think there's um, you're looking at what we've done, and if, if I'm if I'm defending against us with Tanto and Louis in the form that they they're in, then I don't really want my back line very high up the pitch. Why would you? Um, so I, you, you always think they'll be um, deep. I thought then we could control. We were like I say we made the decision before kick off when we'd seen their team of how we were going to go about it, which. Like I say, involved us being 3v3 at the, at the back in terms of our centre backs. Ethan had to mark uh, the 10 Tracy, which was a, again a tough job and um, did it really, really well. Um, and, and like I say, second half, I'm, I'm, I'm again, it's, they're in, unfor unfor in an unfortunate position, the defenders, and I'm always going to be ultra critical of them in terms of what I expect from their performances because um, I played in that position and Clint played in that position. Um, but second half, like I say, the, the, the three of them, the five of them, when they went on, um, were, were fantastic. The negative, of course, was losing Louis Barry to injury in that first half. With that in mind, how important was it for, for Watts to, to go out there and get his goal so early in his, his return from injury? Yeah, timing's everything, isn't it? Um, and we'd love to be in a situation where we didn't have to use him, but <clears throat> we've... We've come into this game on the back of a really good run and we've used the same the same group of players. Louis had a brilliant start to the season. Um, unfortunately, that looks a, like I say, looks a, a bad one and um, we'll have to we'll get him scanned tomorrow and see how he is. Um, but, like I say, to have, I suppose, the luxury from our perspective of, of Woods and of Paddy um, to affect games moving forward will be will be important. It shows the, 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 <coughs> the depth of our squad could be a, and I think will be a really, really important factor, no more so than now. How much did you have to tweak things with that change? Because obviously Woods is a very different profile of player to, to Louis. He is, but we, in ter just again, in terms of how we were looking to go about it, we wanted to press as a three and, and push Will on high um, on the right-hand side and Louis on the left-hand side and Tanto down the middle, it just meant that. But, when, but then when we, were, when we were in possession, we wanted to become a two again in terms of the two up the top end of the pitch. Louis probably stayed too wide, if I'm honest, um, in the first part of the game. Um, so it didn't really change a great deal. You then put Woods in the middle, you push Tanto to a, to a side um, and Will still to a side. And, uh, and then when the ball transitions over, all the balls play forward, Will drops into a midfield position and we become a... We tried to become a, a, a four diamond two, which we have been, or a four triple two, but at times we were a little bit um, three five two, which is a shape that we're, we're used to. But we thought, certainly pressing, that's the way we had to go about it because um, ultimately they never had individual roles, it was man against man, um, which sometimes can be pretty frightening. Um, but like I said, I thought we did that really well. Defensively as well today, to come here and keep a clean sheet and don't think Ben ended up making a save in the, in the 90 minutes, that must be so pleasing for you. Yeah, there's a few hairy moments, but there's, but there's going to be, because you're playing against a team that, that have quality, that are on a really good run, have not scored the amount of goals they've scored for the fact of, of being lucky. Um, so we knew that we are going to have to have to defend, and you have to defend set pieces, and they're the top of the league in terms of goals scored from, from set pieces, so they, they have different avenues where they can where they can hurt you. Um, and especially when you go man for man, ultimately you're right on defending 1v1, it only takes a slip or a little bit of skill in terms of someone getting away from someone that it might result in, a, in an attempt at goal. Frankly, from our perspective, like I said, we minimise them 
especially second half, like I say, first half, um, it's always when you go about things in a different way. And to be clear, we came here with a with a game plan. The game plan was probably a little bit what it looked like when they changed back to their shape they've been in the last, last couple of games. But that game plan was, I suppose, thrust upon the players after we've done the warm-up or just before we're coming out from the warm-up when we get, when we get their team. Um, and I thought, like I say to a man, they carried it out brilliantly. It's the third game in a row now you've scored from a, a set-piece as well. And I suppose it's just all these little things that are coming together at the minute that, that's putting you on the run that you're on right now. Yeah, we, we've got a bit making up to them because we 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 can we can see it quite a few at the start of the season. Um, like I said, that's the, that's the, the most pleasing thing around dealing with the best team in the league in terms of statistically, data wise, with set pieces. Um, and we work we work hard at our set pieces in terms of looking at what teams do, um, and and we try have to try and be inventive because again, it's a different dynamic when you've got what's in the team. Um, but we aren't, we aren't the biggest without him. Um, if you look at throughout our team, this centre backs Fraser, centre backs aren't the biggest. Um, midfield players not the biggest, and we have Tanto and, and Louis had been starting up front for us, so not, not. So you have to, like I say, be inventive around what what you do. Um, we've worked and, and, and a, a short corner really well. It's a brilliant stand up and bread and butter for what. It's great for him to um, to get on the end of that. Um, and like I say, great to have him back and obviously timing works really well with Louis injured. 18 months ago, Stockport County had never won 10 games in a row. That's the third time now they've managed it under you. Uh, to do that in the EFL, is that mean that a little bit more? That's an amazing achievement, an absolutely amazing achievement. Um, because, like I say, winning games of football is tough at any level and there are different challenges wherever wherever you go. Um, so, like I say, to be able to do it in, in this division, um, with the adversity we've had, and, and like I say, with with the with the same same group of players, is is, is a great effort. Um, tonight's a hard one, isn't it? Because you, I know a lot of coming here first v third, and it's a point a good result. I, I think from our perspective, we just wanted to be wanted to be front foot. If we're gonna go out, we'll go on our sword, if you like, um, and and do it in do it in our way. Um, and thankfully tonight, that's that's paid off for us in terms of. Um, <laughs> Going away from from here, it, 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 listen, it's it was a great night for football. It's 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 brilliant when we can come away from home and have two sides of a ground filled with our supporters. Um, it doesn't happen um, at many, if any, other other stadiums. So to be able to, like I say, send them home happy um, and with bragging rights, if there are any, then brilliant. But from our perspective, it's another uh, another three points that keeps us where we want to be. Um, and we look forward to Saturday now. We have to we have to rest uh, and recover and make sure we're we're ready to go in. Like I say, a game that's massively important for for me and Clint in terms of our, our the club where we started our careers, um, who aren't having the, the best time, but will come and make it really really difficult for us. Um, that will give us extra motivation tonight, and we'll take that into into Saturday. Appreciate your time. Well done today. Welcome. Cheers. Thank you.